Hi, Pam. Hello, everyone. Happy Memorial Day weekend. Only going to be on here for a couple of minutes. There's a NASCAR race I want to go watch. I'm done fiddling for the day. Oh, and I need to hit the mute. What are you up to, Pam? I finally have finished this monstrosity of a project that I've been working on. Hmm, and I still can't. It still won't let me do. Hang on. Hi, Janine. Holy guacamole is right. It still won't let me watch YouTube on Safari. Ah, oh, nonsense. Okay, hold on. Just got to rearrange my windows now so I can see what's happening. Hey, Brooke. Hey, KK. <laughs> yeah, it's a beast. It is a beast. What are you guys doing? Are you having a good weekend? It kind of is neato, and I'm not sure to go where, which way to go with it from here. So that's why I thought, well, you guys always have the best ideas. Let me just hop on really quick, get some input from you guys, and then I can either stop or move forward with it. <laughs> Hi, Nicole. <laughs> you might want to get your two pair of glasses on for this one. So I believe I got, and I'll flip it in just a second and show you guys the cover. I believe I got this cover from, Ro or not Rosemary, I believe Rosemary and I got the same cover from Elisa, I think. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Sandra. Good morning from Oz. Good morning. I didn't have any other option, Brooke. <laughs> there, were, there was no other, yeah, the chain was the only option. Yeah, 100%. So, this is what it looks like sitting on its six-inch spine. Yep, it's got a six-inch spine. It has got 26 signatures. That is the most signatures I've ever sewn into a journal. And by golly, they are darn near, darn near, maybe a sixteenth of an inch off somewhere, but they're darn near straight. It was a, let me see if I can do it. This is not a commission, Nicole. See, there's the bottom. And the cool thing about this, let's see if you guys can see, maybe this way is easier. Yeah, there's this metal lip right here. And I got so lucky that eight and a half and 11, eight and a half by 11 fit perfectly right in between there. So it was the practical radio television cover. And then, you know, how could you cut that spine out and put a regular size spine in there? I mean, it is six, six inches. Yeah, Pam. It is. It absolutely is. And it is, I think, I'm going to have to recount the pages. I think I did go over 600. Think I went over 600. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's what it looks like that way. That's what it looks like that way. If you lay it on its side, it's still got plenty of room to have plenty of goodies put in it. And then the key just kind of hangs, hangs off. Uh, thanks. Hi, CB. You like the variegated look of the pages? Yeah. Well, I used some of that cool, thick, dyed paper, so that also helped. All right, let's see. Sometimes these things like to open for me. Sometimes they don't. Yeah. Or I always push on the wrong side. Come on. I gotta move it closer to me. Sorry, guys. You don't get to see me fight with it. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, it would, you would have a lot of guests. I'll tell you what. Well, you could do, if it's got over 600 pages, that's almost two pages a day for art journaling. All right, so the even better part about it, right, Pam? The even better part is, you know, your fear when you're going to do something like this is, oh, my gosh, how are the pages going to lay? Well, they're pretty okay. I mean, it's a big book, so you're still going to have to, you know, but they it lays flat. It's not bulky. And it's bulky, but it's not, you know how sometimes you open a book and one side goes one way and the other goes the other way and you can't really do anything in it? I mean, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge, I'm sure. I mean, with this many pages, but at least they accordion. Or it would be a good one, you know, to art or journal on something small and then stick it in or add it in. Turn it into an idea book. You know, you make a little pieces of ephemera or something and stick them in there. And then you would have 600 pages of ideas. I don't know. Oh, like for a vacation rental. Yeah. <laughs> or a book to whip somebody upside the head. Hi, Carla. And hi, Lucy. It does look pretty. Just, I know, right? So I did um, go and find a few. I did this with a laser printer. That's why it's got the sheen. Because it's practical radio television. I went and found a few vintage TV and radio things and printed on, on the pages. Um, <laughs> Brooke. Right, Sandra, for sure. Yeah, letters and cards from Happy. Yeah, so many things. Anyway, but I've used all kinds of, you know, all ledger paper, tea stain paper. I think this is one I got from Erin. I haven't really done any decorating or anything. I just finished finished putting it together. There's remember that one used to come on the TV. Um, if anyone knows of any Etsy shops that have like some good, like black and white digital old TV and radio stuff, let me know. I'll print it out on clear sticker paper and put it in here. But I tried to leave it kind of masculine. I thought, boy, would this be a Father's Day gift for a writer or, I don't know, I don't know, just something. Hi, Donna. Donna, if you just got here, 600 pages, 26 signatures, six inch spine. We're on page three. <laughs> <laughs> I did glue an envelope down. I mean, I haven't done much. This was an, another Magnavox ad. So I guess my question, I was thinking about like just putting a whole bunch of whale tail tabs. I thought that might look fun because there is plenty of room here. You see how they wouldn't, let's see, see if I put one in there, it would still be within the book. So I thought some whale tail tabs would be fun. Um, what else? I, I just put old vintage, you know, things, but try to keep it, you know, no color, fairly masculine. And yeah, and there's several signatures, like every third or fourth are pretty much completely blank. And then it'll come back to having some more images. Let's see. Am I even in frame? Oh, Pam, what did Pam say? No tags, she says tab. tabs, no tabs. We have two votes. There is some sewing, some pockets. Stick that in there for now. I love this Ex Libris plate. I thought it would be cute for this one. And there's some um, old book pages. 
course, I you know that it'll have vintage tape in it before it's all done, done and said and done. <clears throat> Can't talk. I did sew some of these down to make pockets. There's some um, denim. Boy, the flip through video I'm gonna have to make for this is gonna be a humdinger. I think this is my favorite image in the whole book. Wait for it. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Hey, Rosemary. I need that book for the four letter word. Rosemary, look. The covers. Where do we get these? From Elisa? It does, right, Cheryl? Oh, I, yep. I might have to agree with you there, Pam. I might have to. And then there's another pocket right there. I like the tabs you have, but you get the alpha tabs that come in some journals. You see? Oh, Pam, you're a genius. Well, I have, I have um, these, and I have stamps. I could just A, B, C, D them. I know. I need people to email me black and white radio and TV images. Got that TV. Then I got this. You know, schematic, schematic. There's that yummy paper. I got that like that on Amazon. RDT stamp. I'll have to find that link for you guys. This one's got kind of a. It's got a pocket this way and a pocket that way. Some old form letters. You know, manly stuff. All right, I think we're on the fifth signature of 26. Twenty six numbers or twenty six letters, you guys. Some more book page. Oh, I keep scooting over. I'm so sorry. I'll need the M and the MC. Hey, Vanessa. You're right. I'm really gonna have to pay attention if I do that. more old ledger that was another image I did with the laser you can stamp condemned on every page now yeah 26 signatures 26 letters would work there's another ledger with a pocket this away Boy, hold on I need to turn down my brightness a little bit hang on it's a little bit too bright. There we go. You need the RCA Victor Color TV Duck. Oh, I do. Hi, Natalie. Hi, Kathy. All right, you guys, feel free. Send me if you can find them out of copyright. I want to just put one of the hefty clips in there because. Well, I mean, 26 signatures, why not? There's another little Olympic television ad. Just, I, I thought anything with any kind of schematics would be fun. There's a little bit of music in here, but it's grungy. So, decorate it, don't decorate it. Add alphabet tabs. Don't add alphabet tabs. That's another pocket. It is, Kathy. 26 signatures over 600 pages, 6-inch spine. It is. I really just wanted to see if I could do it. Boy, I did it. And they're straight. The signatures are straight. Thanks, Brooke. There's a little pocket there and a pocket there. Oh, an old TV guy. Yeah. That could be fun if I could find one to just include and let somebody have at it. Oh, 
Donna, I got a package for you from Pearl today. So I, I think um, I'd have to, well, I have to clean my craft room. I think I have one from Kathy and one from Pearl. You want? You don't want me to send those now. Just wait till I get back, yeah? And there's a thunder and lightning. Yeah, good idea, Kathy. Oh, I do have the I have the microphone in here somewhere. We'll get to it. Well, I started off thinking, oh, you know, I'll be able to just put 12 or 15 signatures in here. And I kept stacking them in here and stacking them in here. They were only this thick. I'm like, oh, okay. Wait till I'm back. Okay. Uh, Vanessa, I don't have a price um, on this one yet because I haven't decided if I'm going to do anything else to it. If anyone is interested, feel free to shoot me an email junkjournalshop at yahoo.com and I will reply right back to you probably with a price for it to be decorated and not decorated and I may need to sleep on it ah I know here's a question how many signatures is the most you guys have ever sewn into one jur journal mine was mm, 12 or 15 in one of Rhonda's. Hi, Leslie. <laughs> Thanks. For and never again. Really? The spine. Hang on. Let me put a marker right here because I don't want to make everybody watch. This. So here's what it looks like when it's closed. Natalie, it's 26 signatures with a six inch spine, just over 600 pages. It's a practical radio television cover. All right, where was that? There's another little radio ad. Am I back in frame? Eight, and it was a challenge. <laughs> it, it's huge. This is, um, what is this paper that Amy does? It's like a waxy parchment y thing, but you can see through it. It's delicious. Oh, Kathy. This one's not going to be cheap. I can tell you that. <laughs> I can tell you. The train just got in there because, well, was kind of manly. Thanks, Leslie. And again, like here's another signature of pretty much plain. There's another schematic. There's some more of that yummy thick paper. Brooke, behave. You behave, woman. This is an envelope. It's an old photo service envelope. So I stitched it on that side and let the flap flap over this side. Well, I don't I don't work for five cents an hour. <laughs> so there. You like it undecorated? Okay, Pam, thanks. Yes, Terry, this was the original spine, and that's why I just couldn't, leave my hand here, I could not remove that spine, and it's got metal on the top and bottom, and I just wanted to leave that cover as it was. Oh, I do, I've given away plenty, donated plenty, thank you, Carla, my dear. Yeah, I think it would just be cool. I'll, I'll put it back together after I go through it. Just um, sitting on a table somewhere. Just to be like, what is that? Let me see it. You know? Oh, thanks, Cheryl. And another little pocket here. And so, yeah, so I've got to the point of 
because see, I've got a few of these guys, you know, like there's a little radio that could go in there. There's a little radio. Got a few of these little doodads, but if I start, if I start, there's no stopping me. That is a little envelope, and I've just put a map over the front of it. And some deli, and some notebook. See, I told you I found a microphone. And there's, oh no, some more ledger. I was just really wanting to challenge myself to see, could I get it? I want you guys to see how straight these are. Could I get 26 signatures in there straight? Oh, thanks, Leslie. I appreciate it. And then there's, remember those TVs? And this is a Atwater Kent radio ad. A radio for Christmas. Some more ledger and some more. I've got a little pocket. Oh, okay, I know what you mean, Janice. Spartan TV, preferred by all three. We're getting close to the back. Oh, I need to, that'll get stuck down with some vintage tape. Look at that one. Can you guys tell that's done with the laser? See the sheen on there? Oh, thanks, you guys. What I saw, oh, that check had to live in there apparently. And then we are at the back with the radio. So I think the hear no, see no, speak no guys will look really cute back there, right? So I think that's gonna, I think they're definitely gonna be a yes. Hey, Deb. It took a hot minute. I didn't keep track because I had started on this one before I not started feeling well about a month and a half ago. Um, something like this, it is surprisingly picking out the pages and deciding how many to put in each signature and whatnot is half the battle. The other half of the battle, hang on, let me get it clipped back shut so you guys can see. The other half of the battle is um, there. getting the signatures sewn in straight. <laughs> right, Donna. So, yeah. Tabs or no tabs. And and I, I agree with both things you guys have said. But if we, by we I mean me. And look, it even, you know, kind, it'll just set like that. Or it'll set straight. Still with plenty of room. You know, if, if you mash it, it's still got plenty of room to expand. And then if you even wanted to go bigger, all you have to do is extend the chain. Cheryl, I can help you with that. But, uh, again, the, having this metal piece across the top of here and the bottom, on the top and the bottom. Oops, there. And when I grabbed a piece of eight and a half by 11 and I slid it in there, I was like, oh my goodness, I do not have to trim these. I know, I'm just playing around, Janice. I'm just playing around. I don't know if I'll do the tabs or not. You're torn on the tabs. Yeah, it could gator mouth. I mean, because... You know, it's not even, see? You like the A to Z? Oh. That's a good idea, Kathy. 
could not write one word on it. I know. I have my j journal up there um, from Julie at the Old Design Shop, and I've never written a thing in it. Right. And I don't know that I have one. I don't know that I have a full set of tabs out of an old ledger. National Radio Institute, Washington, D.C. What does that say? Practical radio and television. And the back is blank. And it's just got like a crackly, crackly. <laughs> so there it is. I just wanted to. What's up there? Oh, I just wanted to share it with you guys. And get some ideas. I have these. That might be overkill, huh? Got those. Clyde. No, the spine isn't the same size. As, well, I'm, no, I might be telling you a story. Let's look. You might be right. The spine, well, if I go from this edge right here, the cover is six and an eighth. If I back it up, it's six and a quarter. And then the spine, sorry, the spine is five and three quarters. I fudged, it is not six. It's five and three quarters. Oh, on top of a roll top desk. Oh, thanks Leslie. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit better. Not a hundred percent, but. I gotta get there quick. We leave on our trip soon. <laughs> so. Okay, Brooke, have a good one. It's okay. You're allowed to be salty. You know that. You are allowed to be salty. Hi, Terry. Did I not say hi to you? I like I like I like looking at it all the ways. Can see there that's not even nothing's holding it. See the chain is loosely hanging. When it's like that, the chain hangs loose, so it's not gaitered yet. I am Natalie. Hello there, second chance crafting. I am pretty proud of it. And again, I'm mostly proud of how straight these are. Because, you know, you can't punch. I generally, if I'm doing a six or an eight signature journal, I try to punch all my signatures at the same time, the holes, so that they'll be perfectly lined up when I sew them in. But there was no way that I could punch 26 signatures at once. And then for them to line up as nicely as they did, I was pretty happy. Not gonna lie. Like, oh my god, it worked! Quick, glue them in, put the end pages on, make a closure, and go show everybody. It worked. It really worked. So yeah, so that's all I got. Um, doesn't it look yummy? I know it even looks yummy like this. It'll fall and just sit like that. Or, or it could sit, I know you guys can't see that. It could sit like that or sit up or stand up or roll over. It might even bark. You just don't know. It does. And then I did let, I lift, you know, what, I didn't do a ton of sewing, but I did some. So, yeah. And like I said, this could be extended. You just have to add more chain if, you do, if it got bigger and bigger and bigger. You would alligator that one. <laughs> yeah, well, and that's the problem. If I start decorating it, I'm afraid. I, I mean, I just, I have a few little bits here that might go in. I gotta put that guy back on there. And then I did have these and these. My whale tail punches and my these sitting out as inspiration. Yeah, happy Memorial Day, everyone.
We had some friends over for barbecue and pool yesterday. Today I've been in here working on this all day. And then, oh, sorry, the in-laws called and said, um, they had, oh, I haven't been on top on live chat. Jeez, sorry. They had a serious leak in the upstairs ceiling. Hi, Jane. And my husband had to run over there and help with that. You've never gone over a four-inch spine. Yeah, and it, you got to be careful when you when you go much over a two-inch spine. Um, if you don't do it right, it, it can look odd. Raining in 50s all week. Yeah, it was really nice. It was like 95 here yesterday. And today it's just, I mean, it's been 90, but oh, off and on like clouds and thunder. Gosh, I'm tired, I think. All right. Well, I think that was it. Do you have an antique phone? No. Radio and television. Hey, Brenda. It needs to be named after the author of one of the largest novels in print, Leo. We will call him Leo. It is done. Thank you, Brenda. Really, you had to turn on heat. I just I totally dig it like this, so I keep putting it that way. <laughs> what I keep doing. Oh, all right. Anybody have anything else? I know there's plenty of sales going on. If you're looking for a sale, they're out there. That might look pretty. Pretty grungy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just like that. Oh, some vintage tape. Oh, you guys can't see it. Sorry. All right. Oh, I was thinking Monstro, but Leo is good. Wow, Pam. Great. Thankfully, I won't be very close to where you are. I'll be in California, but not where it's that hot. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I hear it, Brenda. I've got thunder and lightning right now. I know it's incoming. I'm going to go find something for dinner, turn on the race, and chillax the rest of the evening. Bye, Nicole. Have a good one. Might be my husband asking about dinner. Okay. All right. Oh, Deb, no. Yeah, I know. My pool is 84. I'm like, uh, well, Natalie, I, it's a, the stepdaughter's wedding. So the first, that's just not a vacation. That's stressful. So the first part won't be. But we're going to see all the kids. We're going to go see all three of his kids. And then one of mine in Oregon, one of mine in Alaska, my dad in Seattle, my mom in Alaska, some friends in Alaska, my daughter and grandchildren in Alaska. We're going to be gone for a minute. So when will it be in the shop? Um, if my husband doesn't bother me tomorrow... I should have it done by the end of the day. Again, if anybody is interested, shoot me an email. I'd much rather give you a discount, you know, rather than let Etsy have the money. Okay? All right. All right, you guys. Well, have a great weekend. If you're looking for sales, I know uh, Michelle Girly Girl is having a sale right now. Yeah, and leave a thumbs up on the way out the door. Oh, congratulations, Natalie. That's great. That is great. And I will see you guys all really soon. All right? Bye, guys. I know. I know, Brenda. Exactly. I'm like, oh, I have to take pants and shoes.
Oh, darn it. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you for your input and all your kind words. And I will see you later. And I'll be on with a flip through of this when it's complete. Thank you so much, Jane. Bye, guys.